Hi, everyone. Hi. Welcome. Thanks for joining, everyone. Welcome to the first of many weekly stand-up meetings for Anna's Worst Patterns. Um, some of you may know she's become increasingly aware that you guys exist. And, you know, as your job as patterns, you got to stay in her subconscious and ruin her life without her knowing it. So it was deemed necessary by some of the higher ups to, you know, get our ducks in a row, review the KPIs, see if we're meeting our targets and, um, yeah, see how we're doing. So why don't, um, oh, okay. Uh, it looks like avoidance will not be making it today. <laughs> Shocker, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's dive in and why don't we start off by hearing from uh, spiritual bypassing. Mm, thank you so much. How blessed am I to see all of your beautiful shining faces this morning. Mm, so grateful. So grateful. Mm, yes. So, Anna, I have had her reflecting on past abuses, past abusers. And I've got her thinking that it's these karmic soul contracts that are the reason she continues to manifest such pain and hurt into her life. So, when she gets upset about it, I'm right there on her shoulder to remind her that anger isn't very love and light now, is it? <laughs> yes. And also, I'd like to celebrate that our everything happens for reasons are up 16% as of this quarter, so... I'm feeling so aligned with my soul's purpose on this. Fantastic. Great job. Let's uh, keep up the same energy for next week, yeah? <laughs> I will. Thank you. Wonderful. Uh, why don't we hear from Withdrawn? Can you give me a few key takeaways from your performance recently? Uh, withdrawn? Are you there? Uh, yeah, I'm here, uh, sort of. My signal's super weak right now, so um, why don't we put this on the back burner and schedule one-on-one -on -one later today or tomorrow or some other time, if that's cool. Uh, yeah, I guess we can do that. Um, okay, why don't we move on to shrinking? What do you got for me? Oh, um, hi. Hi everyone. <clears throat> um, yeah, so there's like um, actually two new guys that Anna's interested in, um, which has been great as far as triggering several of us patterns. Um, a lot of us have been operating at full capacity. Oh, great. Uh, that's fantastic. Um, it shows that in our annual reports, she hasn't had sex in two years, so she's right on target with that one. Um, fantastic. How are you and the other members of the romance team managing? Yeah, um, we're okay. I, I mean, actually, no, like, we're, like, doing really, really well. Um, we're really playing to our strengths and, you know, pushing the envelope and all that stuff. Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I've got Anna making herself smaller. Um, whenever she talks to these guys, you know, she ends up feeling way worse about herself. Um, so that's cool. But um, I think I'm going to let giving power away take the lead on this one, if that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, piggybacking off of shrinking, you know, we are in an extremely fortunate position because Anna is completely unaware of her market value. Yeah. I mean, you know, she's funny smart, objectively gorgeous, the list could go fucking on and on, right? But you know, the second I step up to the plate, the second I am like right in her little ear, all that shit goes right out the fucking window. Ah, it feels so good. You know, I, we couldn't have really picked a better outcome for this because I mean, with these guys she's interested in, she's looking to them. She's looking to them to determine her inherent, inherent sense of value, her sense of worth, her sense of belonging. And, you know, when you put that shit on a man, it's obviously going to fucking fail, right? So, like, this is really good for us. This is, like, really, really good for us. So, I mean, let's be real. We all know. We, come on, we all know that Anna's brilliant. But it's our jobs as patterns to make sure that she doesn't. 
Yeah. 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 And we're not reinventing the wheel here, folks, but I just got to say, I am so proud of the work that the R team, romance team, that the R team has been putting in. It has been paramount to this work that we're trying to do because we have been building up this false sense of hope that Anna might finally be good enough. She might be worthy of a crumb of love, an ounce of affection. But what she doesn't know is that we fully expect both of these guys to completely reject her by Q3, leaving her fucking shattered. Let's go! Woo! Our team, let's fucking go! Yes! Now this, people, this is the type of synergy and innovation that I'm talking about. Ugh. Great initiative, giving power away. Great initiative. Ugh, I almost don't want to move on from that one. Um, ah, okay, why don't we hear from uh, Body Dysmorphia? Take it away. Hey everyone, Body Dysmorphia here. Hope you all had a good weekend. Um... Yeah, daily ops are running pretty smoothly over here, and and by smoothly I mean like an absolute roller coaster for Anna. Uh, my goal, my personal goal, is to have her feel like she's in one of those carnival funhouse mirrors. Which I I mean the twenty dollar mirror I got from Target, like that's helping because you know like it's full length, it's kind of cheap, so it like every day it like kind of warps and looks like she looks a little different every day, which is like really great for us. Um, but yeah, like, like some days she feels like a Barbie and some days she feels like a linebacker, which I feel like is like really good for what we're trying to achieve here. I'd love to hear it. Uh, it would be great if you could paint me your big picture for these coming weeks. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, yeah, it looks like her assets are on track to begin depreciation in a few years. So I think if we can keep her unaware of how hot she is just long enough, we might be able to come out on top here. Love to hear it, Body Dysmorphia. Thank you for sharing. Um, looks like we haven't heard from repressed anger yet. H how are you doing? What's going on? Talk to me. Hi, everyone. So, unfortunately, I'm sad to say that the numbers do not look good uh, this week. Uh, what happened? Anna started reading nonviolent communication. Yeah. Yeah. I know. She has been trying to find healthy ways to express her anger. Um, I would just hate to get HR involved. <sighs> okay. Um, well... Do you have any actionable items for how we can get back on track here? Well, fortunately, Anna still lives with her parents. <sighs> Thank God. Exactly. She's getting triggered pretty much all day, every day by them. And just so you know, I've already spoken to the overseas black and white thinking team about drafting some detrimental thought streams. You know, just that she's unlovable, always ends up hurting the people she loves, just the basics. Um... Yeah, we can discuss the details later on that, but I think that this is going to be pretty helpful in moving the needle forward on this fucking disaster. Good. Good. Wow. Um, yeah, please, you know, shoot over that one pager on proposed deliverables by EOD. That would be great. Look, look, folks, I... <sighs> we should take this as a learning experience, yeah? And pivot towards something more destructive. You know, that's that's really what we're trying to do here. We it's it's not always butterflies and rainbows trying to keep a person depressed, but luckily we're living in unprecedented times and it's honest hard work that we're doing. So with that being said, I really am optimistic in us. We're a team, we're a family here. And I I believe that we'll be able to come out the other side of this still thinking outside the box, satisfying our stakeholders. And you know what? Meeting our main goal of sad, lonely bitch. That's really why we do it. So, you know, we have we can do this. We can pull through. And uh, with that being said, we're out of time for this week. So um, keep up the hard work, everyone. And uh, we'll talk next week. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye. 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 <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs>